this looks like uh do you remember when madonna, uh, madonna. yeah absolutely in 2016 yeah. or 17 <laughs> said that she wanted to Ooh. surrounded by all with the pussy hats yeah pussy hats mm -hmm. Hello, hello. How are you guys? I'm good. So, um, this is my second March. I was in D.C. last year, and uh, I came back to, write, to do a speech this time, but I don't really know how to do a speech unless it rhymes. So I'm going to do a, a little poem for you guys. It's 2009, and I'm 14, and I'm crying. Not really sure where I am, but I'm holding the hand of my best friend Sam in the waiting room of a planned parenthood. The air is sterile and clean, and the walls are that not gray, but green, and the lights are so bright they could burn a hole through the seam of my jeans, and my phone is buzzing in the pocket. My mom is asking me if I remembered my keys, because She's closing the door and she needs to lock it. But I can't tell my mom where I've gone. I can't tell anyone at all. You see, my best friend Sam was raped by a man that we knew because he worked in the after school program. And he held her down with her textbooks beside her and he covered her mouth and then he came inside her. So now I'm with Sam at the place with a plan, waiting for the results of a medical exam, and she's praying she doesn't need an abortion. She couldn't afford it, and her parents would, like, totally kill her. It's 2002, and my family just moved, and the only people I know are my mom's friend Sue and her son. He's got a case of Matchbox cars, and he says that he'll teach me to play the guitar if I just keep quiet. And the stairwell beside apartment 1245 will haunt me in my sleep for as long as I am alive. And I'm too young to know why it aches in my thighs, but I must lie. I must lie. It's 2012 and I'm dating a guy and I sleep in his bed and I just learned how to drive. And he's older than me. Sorry, but why does this sound like a rap song or something? Yeah, it does. It sounds like a rap lyric. Yeah. He drinks whiskey neat and he's paying for everything. This adult thing, it's not cheap. We've been fighting a lot, almost 10 times a week, and he wants to have sex, and I just want to sleep, but he says I can't say no to him. This much I owe to him. He buys my dinner, so I have to blow him. He's taken to forcing me down on my knees, and I'm confused because he's hurting me while he says please. And he's only a man, and these things he just needs, he's my boyfriend. So why am I filled with unease? It's 2017, and I live like a queen, and I follow damn near every one of my dreams. I'm invincible, and I'm so fucking naive. I believe I'm protected because I live on a screen. Nobody would dare act that way around me. I've earned my protection eternally clean until a man that I trust gets his hands in my pants. But I don't want none of that. I just wanted to dance, and I wake up the next morning like I'm in a trance, and there's blood. Is that my blood? Oh, hold on a minute. You see, I've worked every day since I was 18. I've toured everywhere from Japan to Mar-a-Lago. I even went on stage that night in Chicago when I was having a miscarriage. Hold on, was I that Mar-a-Lago? Right. A little yeah. Trump plant. Yeah. I was in Mar-a-Lago too, you know? Let me connect Mar-a-Lago into whatever this is. I pied the piper, I put on a diaper and sang out my spleen to a room full of teens. What do you mean this happened to me? You can't put your hands on me. You don't know what my body has been through. I'm supposed to be safe now. I earned it. It's 2018 and I've realized that nobody is safe long as she is alive. And every friend that I know has a story like mine. And the world tells me we should take it as a compliment. But then heroes like Ashley and Simone and Gabby, Michaela and Gaga, Rosario, Ali, remind me this is... Lady Gaga. Yep. She's talking about Lady Gaga, I the guess. hero. I guess. Anyways. The beginning, it is not the finale, and that's why we're here, and that's why we rally. It's Olympians and a medical resident, and not one fucking word from the man who is president. 
It's about closed doors and secrets and legs. Oh, shut up. Oh, shut up. Oh, fuck all of what you just said. Yeah. All of it. All what you just said. But let, let's bring that back. Gabby, Michaela, and Gaga, Rosario, Ali, remind me this is the beginning. It is not the finale. And that's why we're here. And that's why we rally. It's Olympians and a medical resident and not one fucking word from the man who is president. It's about closed doors and secrets and legs and stilettos from the Hollywood Hills to the projects and ghettos when babies are ripped from the arms of teen mothers and child brides cry globally under the covers who don't have a voice on the magazine covers. They tell us take cover. But we are not free until all of us are free. So love your neighbor. Please treat her kindly. Ask her her story and then shut up and listen. Black, Asian, poor, wealthy, trans, cis, Muslim, Christian, listen, listen. And then yell at the top of your lungs. Be a voice for all those who have prisoner tongues. For the people who had to grow up way too young. There is work to be done. There are songs to be sung. Lord knows there's a war to be won. Thank you. <clears throat> this is listen. I'm What's all... the last words? Thank you, guys. Okay. All right. You want to want me to go first? We can go back and forth here. I think. Oh yeah. Okay, start then. Start. Yeah. Just start. Fuck man. I, I from my you know my my vibes. I don't know if this is true or not, but hearing this comes across, across so in, uh, disingenuous, disingenuous, because if this really happened to her, you don't even need a fucking speech. You just go by your heart, whatever happened to you. This sounded like a fucking rap song, Yeah. you know, uh, I, I, I don't know. I did not get good vibes from this at all. No. It, it, this sounded so fucking fake. It sounded like there's an agenda behind it. That's what I'm saying. There's an agenda behind it. This is not just about her telling a story. It's an agenda behind this story. Mm. What are you saying? Yeah, definitely. She, But, you know, she's talking about things that happen. I can relate to this also. Uh, and, you know, I think every girl has been in one or two of these situations. Uh, it's nothing, I don't know how to say it, it's, you know, this is life, it's hard to say it, but you know, this is, this is life, especially in the society that we live today with all this, you know, so-called freedom and uh, girls and guys, they can do the same thing and you, you know, you have your own responsibilities also. <laughs> I'm not saying that, you know, just every rape victim, you know, grape, grape sorry. Uh, you know, could prevent it themselves, but a lot of times they could. Uh, yeah, but there's a lot, you know, I'm thinking about the trafficking thing with children. No one is standing, you know, somewhere and, you know, shouting about that. This is, you know, uh, this is growing up in this society. This is, you know, yeah, life sucks. Life's hard. You need to think about who you date, who you meet. Um, yeah, and, and, but she's talking about you know her girl being raped by a, some teacher. That is horrible. That is that is fucked up, you know. But the message, how she puts it, and involving the you know election and everything, has nothing to do with it. And I want to see if this lady is still saying these things when Biden is in office. Yeah, Probably. yeah, exactly. Probably not, but this should not be political, you know. And I also agree. I think I don't know if it was Andrew Tate who said it, you know, or or you or someone that if you have, you know, stable, sane, masculine men, mm. this is not gonna happen, you know, because rape happens by guys that can't get girls who are mentally ill, who are unstable, who are weak, you know. <clears throat> yeah, it, I said this. A stable guy doesn't grape. I, exactly. I said this. Real men do not grape, do not want to grape, because real men wants to uh, earn everything. Yeah. They want to earn everything they get, mm -hmm. even the woman. Mm -hmm. Meaning, 
if the woman don't want a real man, the, the man don't want her. Uh, yeah, the man don't want, want her. Beta uh, twisted men, yeah. they will take mm. because they can't earn. Yeah, exactly. You know? They will take it. <laughs> okay. So, so uh, yeah, real men don't grape. Yeah, and I also think it's, you know, a bit hypocritical to, you know, here's that I'm, I'm going to sound a bit liberal now, but, you know, a uh, white chick and she has a job and a home and, you know, everything is just fine and dandy otherwise with her. Whilst in other countries, you know, grape is, you know, <laughs> it's daily. How, how would I say it? In other countries, women, uh, far illa they uh, end up in trouble yeah or yeah uh experience a lot you know harsher uh uh things experience yeah as uh, so it's a bit you know for me yeah i i agree i understand but you know yeah but i would never do the, do it like this though i would never do it like a fucking poem just be real just say from your heart you know because that resonates way better than this I can't stand this. This was utter nonsense. The way this was delivered, like a like a, I don't know what. But but let me just say this also. Uh, no, I want to answer hell. Huh? Uh, so you're saying about uh, increase of grape in the U.S. last twenty years is just normal growing? Absolutely not. But something has happened in society that has made this, you know, uh, increase. Of That's course. exactly what I wanted to say. Yeah. But continue. Yeah. 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 No. Something has happened in the society, and it's a mix about uh, a mix with uh, guys uh, being, you know, uh, weaker beta, if you would say, because they cannot get, so they will take. Uh, and also, girls, I don't know how you're gonna say the same is pushing it, you know, how they dress, how they act. Who is saying? What do you say? Girls are pushing it, you know, uh. how they dress, how they act. I'm not, you know. Yes, if you go out half naked in the middle of the night, the probability of getting raped is going to be higher, of course. Yeah, how can it, one deny that? Th that is, of course, guys will be, weak guys will be like that. It's nothing weird about it. You know, the comparisons like, oh, but if a guy goes out, mm -hmm. goes out without a shirt, he's not going to be raped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but a guy without a shirt and a girl without a shirt is not the same thing. Because men and women are not the same thing. Women naked are, I'm not, I'm not saying they are naked, but you know, if a woman goes out naked or is naked, it's a different thing than a man oh, that is naked. And also you say women's march is not the place to say this. Yeah. Absolutely it is, but she's bringing in politics. She's do, this woman's march is because to protest against that Trump won the election. Yeah. Also, so this, th so this is politics. This is not a woman's march for women. They all hate Trump, by the way. Yeah, but hold on. That was the purpose. Forget about Trump, though. I want to say no, this. No, I, I just wanted to huh? say that this is politicized. Know, it's not a woman's march for women. I want to I, I just say this, though. If you really want to do something about great, this march, what I've seen from Women's March with them, you know, going around with pussy hats and the vagina, uh, I don't know what it is. They have like, uh, I don't know if it's like, uh, what is it called? I don't know what you want to Mascot, say. Mascot, vagina, it's like, yeah. it's all about sex and shit yeah. like that. You need to stop with that shit, mm -hmm. okay? You need to stop with that shit. Stop promoting so much sexuality in society once and then maybe we can start doing yeah, because the freedom of women it no, doesn't, not, the freedom of women doesn't have to be the freedom of sex of women yeah and it, i'm not, not the focus i mean not the focus that oh we should have sex with anyone we want well you yeah. know is that the focus of freedom of women the pussy yeah apparently but i'm not excusing the rapist saying that oh it's the women's fault that they are, uh, you know, uh, t the pussy is there, uh, you know, they're, they're so uh, degenerate. <laughs> what do you say? Promis promiscuous or sexually, whatever, uh, visually, sexually. And that that's, th and that's why the grape is grape. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that. But I, 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 you can't expect women 
becoming so sexual and not uh, and these grapes is not uh, you know becoming salivated at it mm. you know what i mean because yes in a perfect world women should be able to just walk around naked and nobody does anything but that's fantasy land mm. okay you have to be realistic i want that too you should be able to walk naked everywhere without no grape is graping you but how realistic is that mm. so that's what i'm saying take it, some comments Uh, I don't know. A woman shouldn't raise awareness. No, that's not what I'm saying or what she is saying. Uh, gave me Stan vibes. Eminem. The US is full of weak men and that number will get much bigger. And ho hold on. Who is creating? This is a good fucking point too. Who is creating these weak men? Women. Mm. I need you to be emotional. Yeah. I need. I don't like you know uh, r real men or alpha males or whatever it is. You know, you you're creating an environment of these fucking weak beta uh, soy people, uh, men that grows up to become rapists. Yeah. You know, you need real men to a show how real men should be, and then also. To protect women from grape, you know, to beat the fuck out of grapists. She said it at the beginning. She can't do speeches, but as a musician, who is she a musician? She had to rhyme it. The women's march is not a place to say that. I already answered. That. Uh, what about North Africa? Men who cannot control their passion are not men. I agree. Yeah, they, you should not grape. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, yeah. It's that simple. You, you're forcing your will on, on another free will. I want to say something about her way of addressing this. You can actually, you can actually compare it to Tate in a way. It's not what, it's not what you say. It's how you say it. Uh, Ash, if you, if you say it like adult, it loses something. Very rare, Nemo, and very dangerous for someone to attempt it. Also, men are men here. Just be freaking real. Men are men, Ash. Come on, give me a break. Nemo, why are you so freaking irked by this? Nemo, where do you live? Stop assuming things about countries, bro. Obviously, grape happens. I'm just saying in North Africa, it's extremely rare. Oh, I'm, I'm not, you know, sorry to offend you, Ash, man, but really, I didn't, you know, know that. In your mind. But, uh, uh, okay. Go. Why is it rare, you think? In your mind, between consensual adults, let your freak flag fly, but exploit and violate no one. I agree. What's up, Mindy? What's up? We're talking about grape. What's up, Ashman? Uh, <laughs> Shane. Ashman only sees the crazy people in the news stories. Though, uh, doesn't realize there are 100,000 or 100 million plus real men working their ass off and taking care of fam their families. Yeah, Ash drew an anti-US grenade. What did he do? What happened here? Yeah, she's freaking Helsley. Who the fuck is Helsley? Never heard of Helsley. I would have walked past her as I would walk past any other of these people. She is famous. Don't know her. Neither What's up, Mr. I. Jones? What's up? Obama legalized root marriage. Uh, they have been pushing the LGB. Mm. Agenda on our youth and destroying the generation of the country. Paul Z. I have no idea. I have no idea. And I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not planning on you know checking it out either. But don't get me wrong and don't get Feline wrong. Um, we've we've already said what we what yeah. we what we, we think did. here. But yeah, ultimately, also one more thing. Uh, she was talking about a relationship, right? She was uh, with somebody that graped her. Yeah. Uh, we we talked about this before. You, you you as a woman, you really also need to up your game in um, who you who you date, who you date, and and learn something from the ones that you've dated or been with. Mm. You know, don't go in a relationship after relationship after relationship. 
doing the same shit. Okay? Learn something, avoid those type of men. Uh, because I'm not saying she's responsible for the grape, but she is responsible in some way in attracting assholes. Yeah. You know? You can't just blame, oh, I am perfect and I just ended up with an asshole. Maybe one time. Or so. Maybe two times. Okay. Eventually, you have to realize you are doing something attracting these types of people. You know? And unless you realize that, mm -hmm. you're going to keep attracting these fucked up people. Absolutely. So I just want to say that. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Good.